Rugby's big day was honoured by the Queen's presence at Twickenham. Here at headquarters, England hoped to regain the Calcutta Cup, won by Scotland last year at Murray Field. To see them try, 70,000 fans packed the stadium. Her Majesty, sovereign of both countries, was presumably neutral. England kicked off playing left to right, and how long their white strip would stay a credit to the detergent industry was an easy guess. Scotland last won at Twickenham the year before the war, 27 years ago, and it was soon evident that the men from across the border were all out to lay the Twickenham bogey. It wasn't spectacular rugby, and neither side had scored at half-time. England began the second half as if they'd be the first to break through, a hope soon to be dispelled. That tower of strength, David Chisholm kicked a drop goal, and Scotland were three points up. It looked like a try by Chisholm, but he dropped the ball, and Weston got England out of trouble. The second half was very much like the first. Neither team could get the three-quarters going. The Scots held on to their lead. That long-sought victory at Twickenham seemed within easy reach. England were in dire straits almost on their own line when their left wing Andy Hancock took the ball and began a never-to-be-forgotten dash upfield. He's over the Scots, 25. Hancock scores. They'll talk about that try for a good many years. It was a draw, 3-0. What a climax to a hard-fought game.